Hey guys, in this video I'll be going through the following question. It states, a mine cage starting from rest at the bottom of the shaft increases its speed uniformly for the first 15 seconds until a speed of 8 meters per second is reached. The speed is then maintained as constant for a period of 5 seconds and finally the cage is brought to rest at the top of the shaft for a further period of 10 seconds of uniform retardation. We are asked to draw the velocity time graph for the journey to find what is the initial acceleration and then also to determine what is the depth of the shaft. Um, now some of you may not know what a mine cage uh, will be. Um, we can treat this system like a elevator. Um, basically we have a, a, a deep hole, so something like this. And, um, and a cage which is being lifted from the bottom of this um, hole, so some kind of cage uh, which uh, people or objects could be um, situated within. Um, so then this is being lifted from the bottom of the shaft um, up to the top of the shaft until it reaches the top. Okay, so, um, so from here and maybe some kind of system that connects this up to the top. Alright, so um, our first step here is just to describe the motion. Um, we'll draw the velocity versus time graph. Uh, so here I'll just draw a, a y-axis and x-axis here. And on each we'll have velocity and time. Uh, so our time will be measured in seconds and velocity measured in meters per second. So ms to the negative one. Alright, so there's three different phases of motion here. Uh, so the first part is um, the shaft increases its speed uniformly for the first 15 seconds until a speed of 8 meters per second is reached. Um, so it starts from rest as well. So here it starts from rest and then goes to 8 meters per second at a uniform rate. So that will be a line which connects those two at a uniform rate. Alright. Um, so we can mark this off here as 8 meters per second. Alright. Now next we have the speed is then maintained as a constant for a period of 5 seconds. Um, now actually one more thing we know is that this motion has taken 15 seconds to take place. Alright, so next along here we have 5 seconds of constant velocity motion and then that has taken a total of 5 seconds, so here we are at 20 seconds. And then for the last part of the motion, um, we have for a period of 10 seconds, uniform retardation. So over here, we're at 30 seconds, 10 seconds later. And during this phase, we have uniform or constant velocity um, slowing down of our motion. All right, so that's the answer to the first part. Um, our velocity versus time graph for the journey. Okay, next we can calculate the initial acceleration. So the initial acceleration will be the slope of this line. Uh, so we'll start with that question now. Alright, so for part B, the acceleration going from, we'll call these A, B, C and D. Um, the acceleration going from point A to point B will be equal to the change in velocity, so the final velocity minus the initial velocity, divided by the time taken for this to take place. So this will be equal to 8 minus 0 divided by a time of 15 seconds. So we can calculate that out. So this will be equal to 8 divided by 15, and this will be equal to 0 0.533 meters per second uh, squared.
Okay, so that's the answer to the second question. Um, the third question is, what is the depth of the shaft? So the depth of the shaft will be equal to the total area underneath the velocity versus time graph. Um, so the area underneath this section here, SAB, will be uh, this, the total distance travelled going from point A to point B. Uh, the area going from point B to point C um, will happen to be the distance going from point B to point C. And also the area under the um, velocity versus time graph going from point C to point uh, D um, will have this area of that section there, so SCD. So we can calculate the area underneath the graph and it will look like this. Um, SAD, which is the distance going from point A to point D. So point A is at the bottom of the elevator, point D is at the top of the of the motion at the top of the shaft and here we have S A B plus S B C plus S C D. Okay, so we can uh, determine what that's equal to. So this will be equal to half of uh, a half of fifteen times eight. So that's for the first area. Uh, for the second It'll be uh, 5 seconds times 8 meters per second. And for the third, this will be equal to plus um, 10 seconds, or a half, times 10 times 8. Okay, so then now we can determine what this is equal to just by plugging these values into a calculator. So, um, 0.5 times 15 times 8 plus 5 times 8 plus 0.5 times 10 times 8. So the total distance is 140 meters and that is the total distance for the depth of the shaft. All right. Um, so I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment sections below. And if you have any corrections, please let me know. Thank you for your help. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.